This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Here we go. Curious. The pull on our energy here seems even stronger than before. Looks like I'm not the only one to revert. Even you have assumed your skeletal form, Bill Rack. Assumed, yes. Reverted, no. I have decreased my energy signature to be as low as possible, thus extending the little time we have left. Hmm. Oh well, yes, of course. Following my example, obviously. Look, we stand in the shadows of Ma. She exists. The legends were true. Yet, unfortunately, the moment is ruined. Let Karshai go, Zemarigo. Large Gats, help me. Quiet, rat. I have no trust in Zaros. When he does not deliver, I will sacrifice Karshai right here and be done with these futile games. Let's release him. Release him, Zamrigal, or you will have me to answer to. Ha ha, you're an awfully pompous for a glorified babysitter. I seem to remember you running with your tail between your legs last time you faced me. Hm. This contemptuous attitude will achieve nothing. Zaros is going to deliver. Is that not why we are here? Come on, Zamrigal. We will see what Zaros has to say for himself. Karshai will not be going anywhere. Still, it does not hurt to keep him in tow. Release him. You will not be needing sacrifices anymore. The empty lord finally graces us with his presence. Just consider old Karshai here collateral. Do not forget who you are speaking to. Release him. Fine, I will come back to you later, Karshai. I understand you are skeptical, but it is time I put your worries to rest. The ritual marker has been dreamed into existence by the very elder god that created each and every one of us. You are the exception, Large Gats, and your assistance will be imperative. I believe Ma created the ritual marker because she intends for us to use it. We must conduct one final ritual. Hmm. You bought us here for another ritual? You said there would be no more sacrifices. And I spoke the truth. Then you mean a ritual of enervation? Not quite. I will aid you in the ritual of rejuvenation, but we will draw energy directly from Ma. But she is so weak already. Will she survive? Why should we care if she survives? She's the reason we escaped that forsaken planet in the first place. She is still our creator. I have more information you would benefit from hearing. Ma is the drain on your power you have all been feeling. It will not stop while she exists. She cares for you, but in my assessment that she created the marker that draw you here and give you the last of her energy. Interesting, very interesting. Well, that changes things somewhat. So your plan is to transfer Maul's power directly to us? Yes, Samarigal. You would gain more power than you have ever experienced, and with Maul gone, there would be no longer a need for your rituals. Alright, I may not trust you, but I cannot fault the logic of your plan. Of course, your tune completely changes at this first sniff of power. There will be no more bickering, we must take advantage of Maul's peaceful slumber to begin the ritual. I need all of your concentration now. It is time. Focus your energy. Zaros, Zamorak, right on time. And just as before, you have manipulated the desperate long enough. Empty lord, deceiver, I will not let history repeat itself. Oh, but it is repeating itself. I will make sure it is different this time though, Zamorak. Do not underestimate me. I defeated you once, I will defeat you again. And yet the fear in your voice betrays your words. There is doubt in your eyes, not fire. You lack the confidence and naivety you wielded the first time you challenged me. But my power has increased exponentially. What I have lost in naivety I have gained in wisdom. Yes, the kind of wisdom only loss and hardship can bring. You know nothing of what I have been through. Have I not also suffered? Neither of us has tasted defeat before. We were both so arrogant we believed ourselves invincible. We are changed now, Samrak, both of us. You will not manipulate me, Zaros. I am immune to your controlling aura. Hmm, so you know about my curse. Ha! Curse. It is how you have accomplished everything. I figured it out thousands of years ago. Ask about Zaros's controlling aura. What do you mean controlling aura? Anyone in close proximity to him will gradually be compelled to follow him. It is false devotion. Clearly it affects some more than others. I believe the effect is stronger the weaker the individual is. Am I not correct, Zaros? Yes. I am flawed, doomed never to know whether the loyalty I inspire is genuine unless I withdraw myself as I have done. It is no gift. Then Azzy and his sidekicks are just lovesick weaklings. 
wrong. Their loyalty has always been unwavering, despite my complete absence from this world. And Guthix saw to it that I have no effect on you, Large Gads. Enough, Chatter. I know what you are doing. Pulling the strings of your words and promises. I know how to free them, Zamorak. I know how to free you. Me? You think I need your help? Ma isn't just draining the Majorat of their power, she's draining it from both of you as well. I see. Saren must have intercepted you on your journey then. Wait, you've been drained of your power as well? Lodge Gats is right, we are all the same composition, a family of sorts. I am in the same peril as are all you are. Then your plan is even more transparent than before, it's exactly as I predicted. You are lured them all here to drain them of their power. Are you truly so desperate to save yourself that you would sacrifice them all? No, Zamrak, you are wrong. Also, so blind by hatred. Here, let me show you how I can use the ritual mark to channel Ma's energy into Khazad. Stop! My son! Cutscene! Oh shit, they ain't liking each other at all, bruh. I'll end your tyranny once and for all. You will pay for your ignorance with your life. Oh shit. I've been ashamed to end your life. I never asked for this, Burton. Everything I did, I did for the magic rot. If I'm to die, the power you gave me will become... Fuck, he went too fast. What the fuck is going on? What? No! Zamrak, my father. I am sorry, Gazard, I have failed you. Your self-sacrifice instills devotion in your kin. Somehow, in opposition to everything you tried to build, everything I tried to give you, you stand against me, and it inspires others to do the same. I will not make you a martyr. Then what will you do? You have always had such potential, Zamrak. Even now, you are the embodiment of everything I preach. Such desire to overcome your limitations. I cannot let you go to waste. I am afraid we are far past the point to trust, though. There must be precautions this time. I will not be your instrument, Saros. It is a shame you cannot see the value of joining me, the things we could accomplish together. I see only one way we can mutually benefit from this predicament. I suggest we invoke Viniculum Juris, an ancient demonic pact. I am sure you are familiar with <laughs> I am familiar with the demon's packs and what they entail. You have truly lost your mind if you think I will allow my fate to be intertwined with yours. You have no choice. If you wish to leave this place, I need to know you will not interfere with me again. Aha, spit it out then. What terms would you have bind us? Siliske has a catalyst. He intends to give it to the victor of the last of his games at the end of the nonsensical god wars. I know you are planning to obtain it. You will continue to do so, but within this game you will perform one action at my request. You will know which request I intend for you to act upon because I will refer to you as my Legatimus Maximus when I address you. Bah! You have gone mad, Zaros. Millennia in the Abyss has warped your mind. Wait, in return? I vow to deliver upon my promise. We will conduct one final ritual. When it is complete, every one of you will have increased power and the drain on your energy will be gone. The pact will bind them to his words, Amarak. He will have to free us. I cannot give him what he wants in Akra. There is no telling what he would do with the stone. Zamorak, brother, swallow your pride. We have no other option. Hazil, hmm. Ma stirs. The clock is ticking faster. I see no other path of to salvation, my lord. You know what happens if you break this vow, Zaros. Viniculum Juris is not forgiving. Yes, I will be undone. Then it is no longer a matter of trust. Keep your word or cease to exist. We are clear on the consequences. Do you accept my wording? With one last ritual, you will end the need for any more. Prevent any further energy and, in turn, empower us all. If you deliver on this promise, I will perform one action for you in Saliske's game. And the request I intend for you to act upon will be denoted by. You will address me as your Legatus Maximus. Then it is settled. Large Gats can serve as our witness. He is sure to be present at Siliske's game. Let us begin. Animus Contrahendi Veniculum Joris. It is done. We are bound. Then hold up your end of the bargain, Zaros. Now. Yes, it is about time. Ma will not sleep soundly for much longer. 
What must we do, Zeros? The marker is acting as a conduit for Ma to siphon energy through. I will reverse this process. This will allow you all to channel power through the marker as you would in the ritual of rejuvenation. The difference being that this time the ritual will draw on Ma's power directly infusing it into each of you permanently. If this works, you will be the savior of our people, my lord. Father, can we really trust this to work? He is bound by his words, by Vediculum Joris, Kazard. Either he keeps his promise or he will be destroyed. Both outcomes are victories. Let us get on with it then. Large Gats, Ma's Night Tremors have reached their peak. We need you to head up to her and intercept anything she may spawn. I'm on it. I guess I gotta do some combat. Large Gats, thank goodness you have arrived. The ritual has completely destabilized Ma. I'm not sure how much longer I can soothe her for. If I try to stop the ritual, she may descend into terrors. There are no telling the destruction she could cause. What can I do to help? As her energies drain, Ma's nightmares are intensifying. We need to calm her or else risk the complete annihilation of Furneske. How do we do that? Can we defeat the creatures she dreams into existence? No, no, that will only make things worse. We must defeat her nightmares before they manifest. I believe you are familiar with Zaros' ability to enter the individual mind and create shared spaces of consciousness. I am. I possess similar abilities. If you accept, I will be able to send you into Ma's nightmare. There is no telling what you will find, but trust way to calm her. Hang on, you want to send me into nightmares of a dying elder god? With Guthix's blessing upon you, I can only open the door. You must step through it. Time is of the essence, Largas. Are you ready to enter Ma's nightmare? Yes. Holy crap. This must be the core of Ma, the center of her mind and the source of all her power. Wow, why are there muspas standing around the core like that? You are in Ma's nightmare. These must be her fear. The muspa represent everything Ma has lost. As the anima of this planet has drained, so has her energy. Once she created gods, now these grotesque limitations. It would appear that in the depths of her mind, some part of her still knows this. I will provide you with my light to drive back the darkness of these nightmares. Are you ready to release their grip over her? Saren gives you one glowing o- What the fuck do I do? In defeating Nightmare Muspa, you have begun to calm Ma's terrors. However, there are greater fears to face. We must go deeper yet. What the fuck? There were times when Ma would occasionally become lucid. However, she is unable to separate dreams from reality. Her screams would echo across the mountains, causing earthquakes as she hurt herself. It appears I must be to blame for this part of her nightmare. I encouraged the Madurat to perform a ritual of enervation, which would drain Ma of some of her power, setting her fury and allow the Madurat to breed. Ma became more aware of this over time and came to fear these rituals. Her terrors were increasingly violent with each and every one. From what you have found in her nightmares, it would seem that she is aware enough to know it was the Madurat draining her power. Let us banish this fear. Fuck, I didn't see that. Shit. Keep messing me.
Maw fears of the Majorat have subsided, but there are worse nightmares still. You are close now, keep going. No, this is the deepest part of our nightmare. Did she truly fear us? Zaros and myself are Ma's greatest creations. She loved us completely. As I've seen As I've seen countless times, parents love their children since leaving this place. Alas, her love was overwhelming. Zaros felt smothered by Ma and left for Neske, leaving me alone to care for her. Those were dark days, her moods traveling between deep depression and intense fury. I alone had to handle her, but nothing lasts forever, even for an elder god. I was powerless. Nothing I did or could do would ever be enough. So eventually I too left, hoping that there would be something out there that could help. Ma, I'm so sorry that I am part of your pain. I never wanted to abandon you. Large gats, please drive back these fears. Fuck the health of the orb is so annoying. The click rate radius on that fucking orb's health is so stupid. I don't need to know the health of the goddamn orb. You're fucking dumb. This is fucking bullshit. They don't even show up. Oh my god, I had to do it on fucking easy mode. Did it like 30 times on fucking hard mode. Fuck! That's such a stupid mechanic. And the check health fucking thing, this click, is just put a fucking health bar above it and you fucking fix this. Fuck this click. Bullshit. Fuck, that was so annoying. Ma, I see it now. The icy corruption torn into the core. You are like this because someone close to you willed it. There is only one way I can help you. I am so sorry it has taken me this long to realize. You have plunged into the depths of the Elder God's nightmares and lived to tell the tale. Guthix was right about you, Large Gats. Nothing has been destroyed. That must mean it worked. Indeed, you prevented Ma's terrors and saved us all from certain destruction. Alas, the ritual is over. I could not stop it. Did Ma survive? Her body, yes. But her mind? Ma's energy has been so irreversibly depleted that she will never wake again. I cannot bear it, Large Gats. I feel her pain in my very existence, as though a piece of myself is dying with her. Can we help her? Nothing I have ever tried has worked. She has lived such an agonizing existence. 
I realize now that there's only one thing that can be done. I am so sorry, mother. I think I always knew it in my heart that it would come to this. If I had only known sooner, I could have saved you so much pain. You deserve better. You gave us all your love in your own way. So great and complex, forever doomed to be misunderstood. Forgive me, my creator, my inspiration. Oh, shit. My mother, Zaros, how could you? Come, large gats, I will not let him get away with this. Zaros, your actions resulted in the death of our own mother. How could you? She is truly gone? Then we did her a kindness, Saren. Her entire existence was pain. Her existence was beautiful. She had the power to create life, and she dared to do so, something you will never achieve. Perhaps not, but now I am one step closer. I thought death would have taught you humility, but you are just as arrogant as before. Wait, you have been here this whole time? I sensed you, your awe, that pull. I thought it was Ma, but it was you, Saren goddess of the elves. Yes, Zamorak, we have met before, but I know we have, somehow. I remembered your essence from the memory lost in time, but I recognize you as Ma. That must mean it was you. You came to us posing as Ma all those years ago. You taught the rituals to us. You made us believe they were the will of an elder god. No, I, I was trying to help. I could not foresee what could become of your race. How could I? Majorat, this is Saren, your false ma. She alone bears the responsibility of what our race has become. Please, I never meant to. Millennia of anguish and suffering from our race is on her hands. Leave her. Do not defend me, Zaros. You will never stand beside me. Surely it cannot be. Our greatest tradition was never anything but a facade? Hmm, yes. It is true. I remember the visit somewhere in my mind, eons ago, it was. You look somehow different, Saren, but you are not Ma. You are a pretender. It was all lies. Our race was dwindled to such a paltry number for nothing. It was not for nothing. If you had not performed the rituals to give energy back to Ma, she would have torn this planet apart. Your whole race would have been annihilated. And sacrificing our own kin was the best you could think of? With all the power and wisdom you have been gifted, that was the best you could do. It was naive, yes. I have made many mistakes. I bear the guilt of my actions every waking moment. You may bear the guilt, but not the consequences. Look what you have done to our glorious race. Look at what is the left of us. You taught us to kill one another, made us rely on it. You led us to the very brink of extinction. Please, I am sorry, so sorry. You do not get to be sorry. You are the cause of so much loss, so much misery, even the death of our own mother. Ah! <laughs> Saren, stop, please. Ah! Sister, you will destroy them all. I cannot stay here any longer. It is not over between us, Zaros, not this easily. You will pay for what you have done here. Ma's death is on your hands, and while I still draw breath, I will stand against you. I will deal with Saren later. For now, we must focus on the path ahead. Zamorak, I have kept my word. While Saliske holds this endgame, you will be my Legatus Maximus once more. Do not taunt me, empty lord. I owe you no fealty. We shall see. Today, the victory is ours. Majorat, we spoke to Saren as a downtrodden race, sulking and sorry for ourselves. We may have been pushed to the brink of extinction. We may be few, but today is the dawning of new era. Look around. This day you have all grown in power. Adversity has pushed every one of you to become greater than you could ever could imagine. And I have achieved godhood. The genes of our species hold such incredible potential. It is within all of you. We are too few to continue these petty feuds. It is time we put aside our differences. It is time we unite. Bah, you are swept up in the moment. We do not need these Zerosians to regain our glory. Your actions here may have earned my respect, Zamorak, but I will never work alongside a fool like Zemurigl. 
I do not ask that you all become comrades, but settle your differences. Stop fighting against each other. Instead, fight for the prosperity of the Majorats. Zamorak, you showed self-sacrifice today I did not know what you possessed. While my loyalty will always lie with Zaros, I will stand for the uni unity of our race. I knew you Zerosians would be forced to see the benefits of Zamorak's teachings eventually. Some of you I am willing to bury the hatchet with, but you are a snake in Akra. You will never have my trust. Please, let us not descend into insults now. The unification of our factions would be the greatest leap of progress for thousands of years. Koshai is right. We stagnated so long that we almost allowed ourselves to be completely wiped out. Oh boy, I usually only get this excited when they say the title of a movie in the movie. What gods we pledge allegiance to doesn't matter unless they are at war. We are all one race. We are all children of Ma. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! You have taken issue with our methods before, Azadra. You know it will happen again. Such things can be discussed in the future. Time is on your side. There is no ritual looming ahead, no pressure to avoid sacrifice. You are free now, all of you, so claim your immortality, claim your honor, claim greatness for the Majorats. Large guests, we could have not accomplished this without you. You have my gratitude. Just remember, it was I who gave you this freedom. Under my guidance, you will all shatter your limitations. It is inspiring. But remember, Zamorak, I made good on my promise. For now, you belong to me. Then it would seem we have both garnered respect this day. But you should also remember I owe you a single action. Choose it wisely. Believe me, I will. For now, there are other matters that require my attention. I must pay homage to my mother. Meet me by her remains, Lodge Gats. I have something for you. This is all that's left of Ma. In truth, I do feel a sadness spreading within me. It is unexpected. Feeling sad about the death of your mother was unexpected? She was childlike, treating my sister and I like playthings. I was glad to escape her grasp when I left. Now though, I feel an aching within me like part of me is no longer there. I cannot imagine how Saren feels. Is that thing all that's left of Ma? Yes, it is the core of an elder god. I can sense something dormant residing within power perhaps. I must thank you for helping me obtain this large gas. It will be very useful for my plans. None of this would have happened without you. You helped me return to this world and made it possible for the Majorat. You were crucial in uncovering shrouded history and even served as a witness to the pact between Zamorak and myself. You have my respect for helping the Majorat, although some of them will never say this. They are indebted to your efforts here today. Oh shit! A tome with XP in three chapters, each worth 100k in a skill of your choice, 100k agility, 100k divination, shard of maw, access to nightmare creatures for a slayer task, ancient memories in Gathe's cache, Zamrak armor override, tiny Karshai bobblehead, and two treasure hunter keys. That is it for this. Over and out. Thanks for watching. Peace. Audio